2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 says, If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and heal their land. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Karis and uh, myself and my family, we go to Manchester Central Campus. And today I've got a question for you. On reading this verse, it made me think, I wonder if any of you have ever lost anything precious. I once lost my wedding band and I was obviously devastated. And I began to search the house from the point where I thought it was gone. I was searching and praying and searching and praying. And growing up, my dad used to say, you look with your hands and not with your eyes. By that, he meant actually start moving things, start lifting things, start lifting your hand, opening drawers. And you've got to search with your hands to find the thing that you have lost and the thing that you're looking for. In Chronicles, Solomon has dedicated a temple with prayer. And God here is bringing reassurance and some warnings about the importance of dedicating your life to prayer and seeking his face. And it says that if we do that, he's going to forgive our sin and heal the land. So our challenge today is to dedicate ourselves as a temple, as a living temple for God to move. And it says, if we humble ourselves and pray and seek his face. But we've got to position ourselves to find God. We've got to position ourselves. And, and you look with your hands. So why don't we use our hands as a sign of surrender, of offering ourselves up as a living sacrifice for God to move in our lives? And we know that as we draw near to God, he draws near to us. And we're going to see him forgiving our sin and healing our land. And, and as we position ourselves to seek his face, I believe that we're going to see God move in our lives, in our homes, in our communities, in our country and in our world. So let's pray. God, today, we want to seek your face. We want to find you in the small things. We know that even the smallest of things are significant to you. And we ask today that you would reveal more of yourselves to us. God, would you move in our lives as we humble ourselves before you? God, we trust you. We put you first. And we ask that you would open doorways of opportunity today. That we would be able to share your love with others. And be able to see your hand at work in our lives. God, we offer ourselves as living sacrifices today and we will dedicate ourselves to praying and seeking your face. In Jesus' name we pray. Would you bless our day? Amen. I'll have a great day, audacious, and I'll see you soon.